Good morning, everyone. Hey, this is Lori Mueller with StampinDreams.com coming to you on Tuesday from a very, very frosty location in Lincoln, Nebraska. It is really, really frosty. Uh, now, that doesn't compare to those of you that live on the eastern states that are getting plummeted with boatloads of snow which uh, we in the Midwest had seen um, about a week ago. Uh, so yeah, I, I feel your pain. <laughs> all that shoveling and regassing up the snowblower and uh, working all those muscles that um, you had forgotten existed, right? So welcome, welcome. So glad to have you here. I am really excited to share a project with you. I know I say that every time, but I, I love paper crafting and I just love to share with you. So I'm excited every time. <laughs> but we are going to use a, um, a set, a bundle that's in the mini catalog that I had used as a uh, card swap. And when I signed up for this particular bundle, Lo and behold, <laughs> I made a boo-boo with my order and only ordered the dies. And it's like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? So I had a major brain fart for quite a while on uh, trying to come up with two different designs to create my card swaps because I didn't have enough time to order in the stamp set and uh, get everything made up, packaged, and arrive to their final destination on time. So I had to be very creative and open-minded and, and work with what I had. I, I didn't have any other choice. So the uh, Fine Art Floral Paper is amazing. It is super pretty. There are so many different colors on the palette to work with and combinations that you can um, bring together. But the dyes for the uh, floral vine uh, or flowering vine dyes is kind of busy as well. And I'm trying to figure out how I can tie these two together without making it over the top busy and bring in an element or some sort of uh, another item, you know, whether it's just plain cardstock or um, even texture was going to um, enhance the busyness of it. So my goal was to tie these two together, but try and create it so your eye was not going all absolutely buggy on it. Uh, so I needed to tone down the two together. And I think I did a pretty good job. Now my end result was that it did not have a sentiment because I was supposed to have the stamp set to go with it. But the key element is that it allows the uh, final end product to be open to any sentiment, whether it's birthday sentiment, thinking of you, um, hello, uh, hi, how are you doing? Whatever sentiment you have, you'll be able to add to it. But today I do have the stamp set, so we are going to go ahead and add a sentiment to it <laughs> and, um, and finish off the card as if I'm going to mail it today. So uh, I am a little behind on a couple of cards going out in the mail, and so I have a couple of people in mind that I am going to be mailing these to. So, so on that note, I am so happy that everyone's here. It's so good to see you. I see so many, uh, so many familiar faces, uh, names that uh, are so kind to join me and spend part of your day with me live. Now, if you are catching this uh, now um, and it's after the fact, Thank heavens for replays, so you can watch the whole replay. I will be posting this and saving it to my Facebook page, and then I will also be uploading it to YouTube. So if you haven't uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, it is Stampin' Dreams dash Lori Mueller. I'd love to have you ju uh, jump on board and subscribe because I will be posting um, this video and past ones to my YouTube channel. So, so let's get started. I, I feel like I'm at a wrestling match. It's like, let's get ready to rumble or however that um, a referee uh, commentator uh, says it. But all right, so here we are. 
A couple of things that I need to uh, mention before we get started. Paper Pumpkin, uh, this is the next one, the February one. And in order to get this particular kit, you have to subscribe by February 10th. And um, I have my information here if you wish to subscribe with me. And now's the perfect time to get the prepaids. Anything greater than uh, the three month, you can get celebration item for free as well. Now also, all of my Paper Pumpkin subscribers are going to be receiving exclusive videos, six more project ideas that you can use the supplies from your kit or just the stamp set and any extra uh, supplies you have with your kit to create the projects that the PPX crew has put together for you. So this is a gift for my current Paper Pumpkin subscribers and my dream team, my Lori's dream team with my uh, Stampin' Up! little family. So, uh, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions on that. I'd love to help you out. And then also too, I'm hosting a card class online and we're going to play some games of bingo. And um, this will uh, involve door prizes. It'll be, um, there'll be prizes for uh, games of bingo. We're going to play a number of them and then we're going to stamp at the end. And we're just going to have all kinds of fun. I've got so many ideas rolling through my head of what I want to implement for fun during this Zoom time so if you haven't registered yet there are limited seats so you want to hurry and register for this and the details are on my facebook page under the events as well so we'd love to have you join us it's super super fun and there'll be bundles there'll be all sorts of um giveaways and prizes for um that event in uh february and the deadline to register is february 10th all right, so we are going to concentrate on this stamp set, and these are the dies that are bundled with it. And as you can see, there's a lot of um, intricate die cutting, but then there's also some outline die cutting for these particular flowers, and then this particular sentiment right here. So you can line this up with any of these sentiments. You can make it smaller, longer, um, than what it's needed but we are going to have so much fun with this and I love that this is kind of a different type of font it's not your usual scripty or uh, typeface font it's got a little bit of a um, I don't know I to me I, I have English um, going through my head I don't know why and it's maybe because of the little tails that are at the end of each of the letters but um, it's a, a different kind of font that we are uh, used to out of our catalog so I'm really excited to uh, work with this one and you're gonna find all the details on page 62 of our catalog and there's some beautiful samples here and here's a little close-up of what the uh, dies look like on here. But we'll get an even closer look when we start playing with it. So here is my card that I had one of the patterns or car, uh, designs that I came up with. And you can see some shininess because I've got some gold foil that is behind this pearl, uh, pearlescent specialty paper. Oh my gosh. It, I know I can't capture the sheen of this die cut um, because it's die cut from pearlescent specialty paper that is in our mini catalog as well. But oh my gosh, it is so pretty. Has just the right amount of uh, sheen that gives this, I mean, to me, it kind of gives a vintage feel and um, is very, it's kind of a delicate paper. Let me pull this out right here and see if maybe you can see the sheen in there. It's kind of like a great big sheet of Winkostella <laughs> almost, but a little bit subdued. And so it is two-sided. So there's really not a uh, front and a back to the paper. And it is a little bit lighter weight. It's lighter than our cardstock, but heavier. Maybe maybe heavier than our designer paper. Or it might be the same weight. It might be the same weight. 
now that I'm feeling both of them together. But this paper is beautiful and I'm going to share that with you. But this one on the um, color palette for our fine art floral has a huge list of colors in this palette. And I don't even have all of the sheets of paper that come in this pack because I have just been using the heck out of it. <laughs> but I wanted to share with you that this particular sheet right here is perfect for putting in a 12 by 12 frame just by itself. Look at the gorgeous, um, it looks like oil painting uh, look and how gorgeous would that be in your kitchen or dining room or even your bedroom but this sheet alone is worthy of a frame <laughs> that's all I'm saying and I think there's another one that yeah here's one and so you could put these up side by side or um, but you know the eye is supposed to be drawn to odd numbers so you could you know maybe have two of this one and one of the of the blue one but pretty 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 papers and I love this um, pretty peacock color in here and then there's kind of a artistic backgrounds on the back more like a, um, a wallpaper or I don't know wallpaper paste it, and this one's more brush strokes but I I just love this paper I am on my um, second pack and this is all I have left of my second pack <laughs> so it is it's been so much fun so this is one of the patterns that I used with my card swap and then I used it on a terracotta tile card base and I have a uh, mossy meadow frame that I created using my uh, stitched rectangles kind of like this we've done this before on a past project and then I have gold foil stitched rectangle and then that's what I overlaid this die cut of the pearlescent paper on top and then the die for the flower I uh, used with more terracotta tile to fill in for the center and topped it with one of the opal rounds I love these opal rounds I mean talk about a piece of jewelry <laughs> um, it, it really looks like an opal um, pretty darn close anyway and then the only thing that's popped up is this um, panel right there and then I have that uh, jewel right there that kind of brings the focus and then we're going to be adding on the new one that we're going to create today we're going to add a sentiment to this but this leaves this open for any sentiment and my vision was to um, put it along the bottom here and uh, then you can send it out from there so you can leave these as is and then when the occasion arises you put the sentiment on from there so I'm torn today uh, because I no longer have any more of this pattern paper to make a replica exactly like this one I went with more colors out of the palette uh, available on the back of the paper pack and I have terracotta tile as the background but we're going to use this paper this pattern because it does have terracotta or we can use pool party and focus more on the blue green um, type of hue and bring in for both of them using the frame of pretty peacock cardstock so I don't know I'm so torn that I want to create both of them but I'm not certain if I'll have enough time but we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot so we have two pieces or let me give you the measurements so the measurement of the card base is eight and a half by five and a half the designer series paper is four by five and a quarter and then you're going to need some pieces of uh, the pearlescent specialty paper for the die. I am using the Sahara Sand Foil that is found in the Love You Always Foil Sheets pack. Just to give it, this is more silvery to me, so that's why I wanted to bring in more of a, a neutral tone that kind of enhances the the color of this because we have more of a gray tone here and so that's where I went with this versus a gold we're gonna need some scrap of pool party 
and uh, for the sentiment, uh, another piece of scrap. And I think that's all we need. So let's get started. So I'm gonna work on these at the same time. We'll go ahead and burnish the card bases. And the designer paper goes directly to the front of the card base. So I can go ahead and add them to the front. And again, I'm using my liquid glue. And I'm giving it a nice even border on all four sides. Plant that, I'm gonna plant this. And this way, if I finish these two, in the same amount of time that I can normally finish one, because <laughs> I consider myself a slow stamper. I um, am so relaxed doing this that I'm never in a hurry. I mean, I am in a hurry, <laughs> but, um, you know, because I am stressed for deadlines and things like that. But I, I don't know, this just really calms the tension that I might be feeling on any given day. So... All right, so we've had that part down. Now we need to make our frame. So I'm gonna use the Pretty Peacock cardstock to make two frames. And I went ahead and adhered my two pieces of the stitched rectangles. And the largest one measures three and a half by four and seven eighths. So they line up um, inside of each other on my uh, die set. This, uh, so those are the two, the one larger than the other. And I'm gonna go, oops, I need to put it this direction. I'm gonna go ahead and set that in there. And I'm gonna try and put it at an angle so it doesn't give my machine such of a speed bump to go through. There we go. Don't have that kaplunk. Might at the end, but it's not as hard to do it in the beginning. And then the fun thing about this, whoops. Yep, oh, I did get it. Oh, it must have shifted on me. The fun thing about this is I'm gonna have a centerpiece that I can save for later. But now I just want my frame that I've created. And I'm gonna need a second one. I have to be careful so I don't move my die like I did the first time. There we go. So do I have any New Englanders or anybody on the East Coast uh, with me today? I hope that you are inside, staying warm. Maybe you've already been out a couple times shoveling the masses of snow that has fallen your way. So, all right, of course. We'll go ahead and remove the frame on this one as well. So we're done with that. We have our two frames. Next up, I want to do the foil. And from the frame, this one is the next one smaller. So that's what I'm gonna use for here. And I'm gonna, my paper is a little bit warpy because it's overhanging my edge. Right, there we go. Run that through. There we go, come back out. Now we're gonna need a second one for the other card. And this foil is so, it's Sahara sand, but it's got like a, I don't know, it's more of a tint of silver, but not silver, if that makes any sense. It's just like a, a muted, um, champ not even champagne. 
it's hard to describe, but it's really, really pretty. So if you don't have any of the Love You Always foil sheets paper pack, you get two of each color. There's three different colors, Blushing Bride, Rococo Rose, and Sahara Sand. And you get all that for $10. You get two 12 by 12 sheets of each color. And so um, if you don't have any, that's one of the things that should be on your next list. All right, and now we need two of the flowers from the vine set because we're going to center that inside of our pearlescent. So we'll get, I think I can get two out of this scrap piece. Oh yeah, easy. All right, and then use that. And so when I'm doing mass production, I'm one that I like to do all my die cutting, all my stamping, everything all ready to go to then mass produce <laughs> assembly. And um, I don't know, how are, how are you? How, how do you like to mass produce, if you do mass produce? Um, I'd, I'd be interested to know uh, how you handle your things. All right, so yeah, we gotta definitely go this direction. So I'm going to put this die on here and make certain, so there's gonna be a lot of intricate cutting going on. And I'm definitely gonna wanna go through once and then twice. And then let's see how easy this is gonna come out. Make certain I got all my, I like to just double check that it, you know, did a nice clean sweep and we'll get all these pieces off of here so it doesn't, because if I left these pieces on here, it would actually emboss the bottom uh, part of my, you know, next die cut that I'm doing. Oh, I want to try and get my brush out. There we go. so so pretty and then I'll get my brush out to get all those pieces off of there but for now I need my brush to get all these pieces out of here I've mislocated my brush that goes out the end of my take your pick tool so I've pulled out my retired version but still works the same. All right, I think I got all those pieces and set that aside. Oh, hear the static? Oh my goodness, so staticky. All right, we're gonna do one more. Oh, if only you could see this in real life. All right, I think I'm done with all the die cutting, so I'll just put this aside. And I can put all the die cuts aside. And get a little start on. So you want to be, like that little leaf is very delicate on the end, so you want to make certain that when you pull these out that you're not, and then I can clear my dye later, but let's get a head start on cleaning up this dye. There we go. Have all my pieces running around like crazy. The static is just pulling it everywhere. Okay. All right, come on. Here we go, a couple more pieces. All right, that one, oh, got one more here. 
All right, that one's clean. So now I can get this one cleaned out. Normally I do this over, I have a great big recycle box. <laughs> so I, I just have this over top of my box and it catches all the little flyaways. Um, but I can easily clean my work surface here. All right, I think I got all my pieces there. Set that aside. And there we go, okay. Now we are ready for some assembly. All right, so the first thing I want to do is add my pool party flowers to the back of this piece right there. And I'm gonna have to be really careful and only add adhesive to the certain areas that the cardstock is going to touch, like that. And then, oops, this might be easier if I go this direction. There we go. And then just kind of swishle it a little bit to line up all of your edges so you don't see it beyond. Yay, it's looking pretty. Oh, I'm gonna like this version too. More the um, blue hue versus the orange rust. Um, color of the original that I shared. All right, do that. Okay, got that. Next, we're going to attach it to our Sahara sand foil that we've die cut. And here again, you just want to add bits and pieces of adhesive to like mainly the outer edges because they are going to get caught otherwise. So any of these leaves, you know, you want to kind of add a little bit of adhesive to uh, keep them kind of laying flat and not getting caught on going in the envelope or as you're working along. So I'm just adding droplets of adhesive now you could probably use, well, not probably, but you could use our adhesive sheets if you wanted and then peel back um, the whole thing and then you've got it all covered with adhesive and not having to add any. It'll already be there when you die cut it through. Okay, yay, there we go. And we'll do the same thing with this one. So, anybody in the warm states today <laughs> visiting? Um, lucky you. It is, oh, we're going to have a blast of cold weather. I mean, it's already been cold, but we're going to be below zero here in the next few days. And then around the zero, um, temperature. I, uh, I don't like winter. I, it's getting, I mean, I don't mind it if I'm out playing, you know, if I'm snowmobiling, doing a little scooping. <laughs> yeah, I said it, scooping. At least it keeps my body warm. But otherwise, just to be standing on it, in it, no. And being home in my warm house, makes it all better. All right, I think, get that all looking pretty, 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 pretty. Ah, okay, so next we are going to add in some dimensionals on the back of here. And I like my dimensionals, so I'm gonna go, whoops, we've got more confetti. <laughs> Wanting to join the party. All right. Let's see if I can. Whoop. Come on. And I know I like to 
make certain it's not going to sink in the center. All right, now we have those two pieces done. Now we want to add, I'm gonna set those aside. Now we wanna add our frame. And this is the part that is the piece to help tone down the pattern paper from this busy die. And it's just a, a small neutral that is, I don't know, it's just a small solid actually to kind of break up the busyness and shouldn't cause your eyes to go buggy. All right, and I'm gonna center that in here like that. All right, I think now I can go ahead and plant that down. Yay, looking good. I um, am really starting to see the um, contrast between the terracotta card base and the pool party. Are you seeing the difference between the two? Oh my gosh. Just the one designer paper and changing the card base is really making this pop. And then we're gonna add our, all right, I think I got that centered this time. Okay, there we go. Look at that. All right, so we've got our little frame. Now all we need to do is add on our dimensional piece. All right, come on. All right, got it. So now I'm gonna center that in here. Pretty, pretty. Now I probably, now that I'm seeing this, I wonder what it would have looked like to have the terracotta flower in the center instead of the pool party. You know, because part of the reason why I chose pool party is because of the card base. But I really couldn't make up your, my mind which one I liked better with this paper. And I don't know. I, I think they're looking okay. But I'm wondering what it would have looked like with the terracotta tile. All right, so now we need some of our little opal rounds. And I'm gonna go, let's see, this one, whoops, come on. And center that right in there. Yep. And this one. And they are adhesive back, so you don't have to worry about adding glue dots or anything like that. All right, got that. Okay, this is starting to come together. Next up is our sentiment. And I am going to use happy birthday and uh, apply it to these cards. So I need some scrap whisper white and I'm going to stamp it on each end of this piece and I'll show you a reason why here in a second. So I'm gonna ink that up really good and stamp it in the center, a little bit center up and down, all right. And I'm gonna flip this around here and do the same thing because I wanna give my die cut a little bit of a haircut. And what I mean by that is not using the entire length of this particular die. All right, so I'm gonna clean off. Oh my goodness, that is so staticky. <laughs> Usually I have like a little scraper that I um, remove all that. So my die, I am going to line up 
and give it a little bit of a trim that way and then I'll show you how I'm going to come back in and finish off the other side as well. Alright, let's hope this doesn't move. There we go. Okay. Alright, so I have the one. I'll go ahead and do this one as well. And let's see, that's about, about right. This might be a little bit shorter than the first one, but that's okay. There we go. And then get rid of this long piece right here and just work with the short. All right, so now what I wanna do is slide this and line this up so it's over top of the outside edge right here. And I'm going to kind of pinch it in between the cut line or the, um, the blades of this particular die. And I probably want to go a little bit, I want to go a little bit higher. So I have an even amount on either side. All right, and then I'm going to carefully lay that down like that. And I'm only going to go in long enough to cut the end. I want to I don't want to go all the way through. I just want to trim off the end just like that. And there we got it. 1 centimeter down. All right. Let's get our other one and do the same thing. So I want to have about like that and then I just kind of fit it in between the die and carefully lay it down and you can use a post-it note or some old washi tape or something to hold it in place too um, I'm just testing my luck here <laughs> to see if I can get it to work without using all of that and there you go you give it a little trim and so this particular one, if I pull up my other one as well, see, and this one's just a hair longer than the other, but it all stems from the original die. So you can make this as long or, you know, and even if you wanted to extend it, you know, maybe you wanted to use it as a border on your uh, design, you could actually extend it as well, doing the same thing. All right, so let's get this out of our way. add our sentiment and I am going to use dimensionals on this All right. there we go and I like to use these little halves to kind of fill in it's just a little much for a, a full one so we'll just go ahead and add that in there just so that it's not bowing uh, as it goes through the mail or just sometimes that bow can really be obvious to me I can see it all right and we're gonna just plant it centered towards the bottom and do the same thing with this one I'm gonna plant it towards the bottom like that and there we have it look at oh my gosh so this is the pool party card base and this is the terracotta tile card base um, but they both use the pretty peacock frame that we use stitched rectangles and then they both have the pearlescent specialty paper with Sahara sand foil paper lining the back of it but I don't know. I, you know, it, it all uh, stems from this original right here. And this paper, this uh, fine art floral paper, oh my gosh, it is so, so pretty. Um, because look at what you can do uh, with all of the colors and the patterns. And, you know, and you can tie this together with your vine design. The flowering vine dye is what this set comes from. But 
the stamp set comes from the Vine Design stamp set, but you have to tell me what you think. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. Now, if you need any supplies, please, um, I'd love to have you shop in my store at uh, stampindreams.com using this host code. This is my February host code. And I will be sending you the supplies for four cards, two each of two designs. And this is going to be one of the designs. And um, yeah, that will go out to you in the mail. So let me go ahead and flip us around here. 